Okay, you guys, what's up? I'm back. It's been a while, right? Um, give me a sec. I'm just trying to do a, a sound test real quick. It's been a little while. I haven't heard myself actually in a while like this, so um, just give me a sec. How everybody doing? So I just did my sound check, so you guys, we about to go ahead and start this, actually. Shout out to everybody that's here. Shout out for everybody who smashed the like button for me. Smash the like button so we can get, you know, somewhere with this, because I like to do this stuff. Um, I haven't done it in a while, you know, I'm sorry about that. Um, but we're going to be working on, uh, we're going to be working on websites, actually one website in particular, which is my Smiley Outfitters one. So this was something I have been uh, working on for a little while. You guys know that I've taken Smiley Outfitters from Smiley. I think it was like, oh man, what was it called first? It's like Smiley Tees at first. And now it's, you know, been involved. It's been put on my channel. So if you guys ever watch my videos, like it's there in the, uh, the videos and stuff like that. Like right at the bottom of, uh, what is it? The description and stuff like that. Um, there's actually now listed there. You can see the t-shirt and everything. You can just click on it and buy it there now. I'm actually not trying to be an influencer of my own line. You know what I'm saying? Like I am going to buy some of my clothes. Um, as you can see, I got like my Nirvana stuff in the back and all that. And what is this? Um, oh, shoot. What is it? Uh, the Rolling Stones. I got the Rolling Stones back there. But right now, I'm really just focusing on like the YouTube, my freelancing. And I'm giving my, uh, oh, my God. I'm giving my um my my t-shirt business a chance for it to grow on its own. I did relaunch the um the Instagram and stuff like that. And the Instagram, it's it's we tested it. Um, it's beautiful. There's gonna be some things coming out. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's gonna be amazing. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely will link somewhere in the bottom or actually in the description. I think it's already down there. Um, you guys can check out the Teespring. I integrated everything from. Um, Spreadshirt to Teespring just so I can have that stuff on YouTube so you guys can see what's going on with it But you know now that we got that settled, you know, you guys I have to make a website to go along with this So we're gonna go ahead and hop over here to Photoshop and I'm gonna show you guys the website that I've been creating It's just a website plan. We will be doing the website the actual website uh, Today here on Adobe Muse. So like I said check the description box I included a download link where you guys can go get the Adobe Muse and stuff like that. So I know a lot of people don't use Muse like that anymore. What's good, Harvey Dent? I like you and uh, Batman. But uh, I know a lot of people don't use Adobe Muse like that anymore because Adobe is no longer supporting its updates. But they do actually still let you guys, you guys get uh, Adobe Muse. So go ahead and get that. It's right there in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash the like button. But we're going to go ahead and get into this right now. Let's do it. All right. So um, anytime I've done like a website review, you guys remember I used to do the uh, Fresh Fridays, which will be coming back out next week. If you guys have your websites, leave it in the chat box. I definitely check you guys out. Uh, no, you actually can't. I'm sorry. You can't because it'll, it'll spam it out or something like that. So it'll, it'll cancel you out if you do it. Um, matter of fact, do this. If you guys are following me on my uh, Instagram, which is, which is at Robert Loyal, uh, send me you guys' websites, and we'll go from there. I'll give you, I'll give it like a good little review. Of course, you guys do know um, I do charge for some of this stuff, but that's for another time, another day. But I will give you guys. There will be a few selected you guys to get a Fresh Friday review if you guys do it today. Which, if you guys are watching any time after today then there'll probably be a charge, but we'll get into that some other time. Um, Here's the website that I've been working on. So I, I usually tell you guys to have like compelling pictures and stuff like that. You guys have been seeing me put out stuff on Instagram, um, these fashion editorials and stuff like that. And this is what I came up with. And I think it's pretty suave, right? Like, do you guys like it? Uh, I think this looks pretty good. Um, The thing is, I've always wanted Smiley Outfitters to be more of like a, uh, not really a Japanese thing, more like a manga kind of like thing where I can connect the character to um, to the actual clothing line and people can like connect to it. Now, this first guy, this guy right here is a manga version of me. I know my hair is not that long yet, but as time goes on, this is me. And then this person right here, which I need to really start drawing over again, is um, we call her Anaya. Anaya, yeah, we call her Anaya. She's the women. Um, the, she she represents the women for uh for Smiley Outfitters, and that goes more in line with that um, 
I guess that that mind frame, that spending habits, what people do when people see this girl, they're like, oh, she's on her phone. I'm usually on my phone, too, you know, or you got that really laid back kind of strong millennial right here. This guy who's like really strong millennial type dude or whatnot. So um, he's standing up, hands in his pockets straight, you know, and you got this girl right here who is, you know, wearing her boyfriend's hoodie or maybe her hoodie because I got that listed in the, um, in the shop, too, as well, you know. She got her hoodie, she's on the phone, she's smiling or giving a slight smile, not really a strong smile, but like a slight smile that signifies that she's a little happy or whatnot. Maybe that text message can be about her boyfriend. Maybe her text message is about her getting the actual smiley outfit or stuff. You know, we don't know. We don't know. Um, here, we're designing on a, what is it, a 2800 by, or what is it, 2080, 2880? Or, so a 2880 by uh it really doesn't really matter how long this goes but the 2880 is pretty much a full browser width all right so we're doing a full browser width which everything goes straight to the edge like you can see my um my textures here like the wave textures are going from the the side from each side to side so it's a full width all right when i condense it down even though i can't do it right here in photoshop when i take this into adobe muse that's what i'm trying to uh, design for so i'll start condensing this stuff down I want the very first top of this, all right? Like the picture here. You have the man, the girl, the shut up and smile advertisement. So you got shut up and smile, smile out back there. I want that to um, to be one image, but that's going to be clickable. We call this image right here, we call this the fold, all right? So if you guys ever remember, you know, uh, websites, not websites, but uh, magazines, not really magazines. We're going to uh, take it back to newspapers. Newspapers, there we go. Newspapers, when people come to like a website, they see the front page, you know? So it, it's going to look a little bit more like this. Maybe, let me see if I can um, open it up like this so you guys can see a little bit more better. See, let me see that that look right. Let me just, I just got to get a second. Nah, it's not looking all that good. So, if I zoom out just a little bit, maybe. Zoom out just a little bit. Get the live button. If I zoom out just a little bit, I think this would be it right here. Let me scoot it over. Um, But, yeah, if we zoom out just a little bit, we have the full browser width, all right? So, I have a man up here. I have the logo. I have women. Um, I'm going to take that free shipping and returns details out, you know, because really Teespring doesn't really offer deals like that. It's just one price and you go with that. Um, I, w I really wanted to include this, though, as a message board. So whenever, like, I don't know, I'm donating to somebody, you know, because with Teespring, you can actually donate to a cause. Um, I will put that there. So for every dollar spent, you know, maybe another dollar goes to or if I spend like, what is it, two dollars? I usually get $2 in that, you know what I'm saying? So for every $1, a dollar goes to like maybe the cancer research or something like that, you know? I want people to know that right here, but right now it says free shipping and returns. That's not really what I want, really, because Teespring doesn't offer that. Um, but when we look at it like this, we have this man right here. We have this clothing brand man right here wearing the, the hoodie that's, you know, showing up, the show up and sh the showing the shut up and smile and the smile out back there. And then it entices people to scroll down. You know, that's what I tell people to do in like their website reviews and stuff like that. Make sure you have like a really strong picture at the fold because that fold picture is going to bring people in so we can scroll down. And because I have like this, you know, kind of illustrated. Oops, let me go back over. <laughs> Having a little problems here because I have this illustrated. The girls illustrated. I have to shut up and smile at his feet. And then you can hit the shop man, shop women. All right. And then from there, I was building out like, you know, more stuff to, to link back to like the website. So people can click on this shirt. You know, that takes them to. Uh, yeah, I am designing for Teespring. Um, you can click on the shirt and I'll take you to the Teespring shirt. You can click on this shirt, take you to the Teespring shirt. Or you can click on one of these pictures and they'll take you to the Teespring, the corresponding Teespring shirt. Or you can just click on shop women. And what I was doing right here was I needed to finish this up for men's side as well. So we're going to be doing that real quick. And then I'm going to hop right into, um, I'm going to hop right into, uh, what is it? Adobe Muse and go from there. So let me go ahead and just kind of 
continue this out. Um, I like to keep things in my layers panel, but you guys can't see that because um, the layers is the layers panel is kind of hidden. I know that kind of sucks, but uh, I like to keep that layers panel kind of open for this type of stuff. Oh man, see, and I want to show you guys this, but I really can't. Uh, X-ray three, what's going on with you, bro? All right, so I pretty much designed the women section of this. So really, so uh, let me explain what's going on because I haven't really explained this part. Um, and I did, I did, but I kind of glazed over it. I just wanted to get into it. But we call this uh, not the call of action. Uh, well, this is a where it says shop women, but this little section right here is uh, what is it called, man? It keeps it comes to me when I'm like doing it but then like when i come it comes time for me to talk to you guys about it i just can't remember what it's called uh man it's gonna come to me but basically this is like um is where people come the front page is where people come to see the stuff like it's if it's not appealing to them they're not gonna be there with it um it's just it weeds people out i just can't remember the name of it you guys don't hate me for it i just kind of forgot but this is really important to have Okay, this portion of your website is really important to have. Okay, um, I, and I like the way that this looks right here. I could add more t-shirts in, like I'm thinking about doing it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add some. So I'm just going to highlight all of this stuff and then bring it down. And then add in like a few more t-shirts just to show more of that women's side. Because I have, I think I have at least nine shirts in the women's store. You guys, if you want to check out my Teespring, like I said, it's down there. So you guys can check that out. But let me see. I want to add in some like different stuff real quick. So I'm going to go back over here into my uh, into my desktop. Not into my desktop, but into like my iCloud and pull out some of this stuff. Because I really want to start bringing in um, more t-shirts and stuff like that. So people can get can see what's there and they can imagine wearing it. You know what I'm saying? I do have pictures of some girls wearing some things. But I just really want that to be all out and ready to go how many of you guys are watching today go ahead and tell me if you're watching and tell me where you're watching from i really i never asked that but where are you guys from you know because i i never really get to see i really never get to ask that and it's really good to know that you guys are watching me from like different places and stuff like that i know that um out here in america there's there's a lot of people from chicago chicago that watches me you know and i think that's amazing man because i just left chicago um and it's really cool to see you guys you know let's see did i put this one out here already i didn't but i can bring out this old one right here i think this one is really cool i really like this one when i made this one right here uh i made it and i thought i was thinking about uh some youtubers that i wanted to send that to but you know then again they they sometimes don't align with like the vision you know so i can't really send it out and this this black one right here this uh this one i'm about to expand out this was one that i created this was like one of my first t-shirt designs you know um and it's really it's, it has some sentimental value to me i can't really stretch it out like that though but this one right here, I, I it takes me back when I look at it because I remember the time that I when I made it, um, the time that I made it, and where I came from with it, and what I was thinking about, and all that extra stuff. It was, it was a real good time for me. You know, it was at the time where I pretty much started. I was just like, you know, I want to start doing some different things in my life. I think this is gonna be a, a straight layout right here. But that one, I really love that one. So let me see where you guys from. So we have hi from or hey from Ohio, Ashley Woodson. Shout out to you, Ashley. What is your Instagram? Leave your Instagram links, okay? Put those ats down there. I need to know you guys' Instagrams, all right? And you guys follow me back too. I want to start following you guys. I want to see you guys' work, all right? So Ashley, put your Instagram. What's up from Ohio though? <laughs> I'm from St. Louis. I know I was just in Ohio too. Uh, not just in Ohio. But uh, I went there one time for some business before um, earlier this year. And I think that was cool. Um, let me see here. L.A. A. A. Joe from L.A. Uh, Tilden Jones from Jersey was good. Haven't been to Jersey yet. 
uh, Texas. What is it? Droid V from Texas. X-Ray from UK. What's good, man? From the UK. Uh, can I become a patron? Yeah, you can always become a patron. Raymond Davis, man. What's good, bro? Uh, I'm still working on your stuff. Raymond Davis. He's from Los Angeles. I mean, not uh, Las Vegas. He's from the LV. <laughs> um, let's see. I did three T-shirts, but I didn't. But it. But I did not sell nothing. Man, I tell you guys this all the time. Make sure you have your targeting right. As a, as a matter of fact, there is a book I want to recommend to everybody right now. Right here on the floor. I'm so sorry about this. Um, this is the advertising promotion. What's it called? Advertising promotion. Eight supplemental aspects of integrated marketing communications. All right. Um, you guys, there is some stuff in here that will help you out. All right. How are you selling? Are you selling on Instagram? Because if you're selling on Instagram, um, the one thing that I feel like a lot of people don't do, and I'm starting to get more into, especially when it comes to like my my actual clothing line, which is Smiley Outfitters, is we have to be a little bit more relationship driven. And I know that means like having um, business and you know talking to people and stuff like that. People send you uh, in with messages, DMs, and you respond back to them not, uh, timely, uh, which is something that you guys can do. But you know, I was looking at maybe I think I think I was looking at Nintendo. I was looking at um, Adult Swim from Cartoon Network a long time ago. Uh, I look at Shop Akira because I think Akira is like I think Akira has the the potential to be everything for women, right? I just look at some of these websites and uh, their Instagrams and stuff like that. And the one thing that they do is they build on relationships, right? And those relationships are what pretty much um, helps people to identify with them. And once you start identifying with your audience and, you know, having a relationship with them and stuff like that, like you don't even have to like respond to what they're saying. But if you put out like an image and you talk about it just a little bit, you know, like let's just say uh, we're Gary Vayner Vaynerchuk and Vaynerchuk puts out, you know, um, what is it? Jab, 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 right hook. He has a picture. And then he says, this is what I've been telling you guys to do to build your businesses since day one. Um, and you guys look at that and you be like, oh yeah, that's, this. I can identify with that. And Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, said that, you know what I'm saying? I want to buy into everything he do. That's that building relationship insta uh, instance that you guys are kind of missing out on your Instagrams. So I think, uh, let's go ahead and get back in this cause I'm <laughs> need to get this done. I really do. So we're going to grab this here. watching from florida bro i have i was actually thinking about moving to florida i think florida is well, let me say i'm sorry brooke <laughs> brooke i'm sorry not bro brooke i was actually thinking about moving to florida actually it was um in my it was in the plans earlier this year and it was something that i was really really considering i'm still considering actually Let's see massachusetts Raymond, I'll definitely follow you on Instagram. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to sell on Instagram. Yeah, man, once you start getting into like, and take your personal self out of Instagram. Like, don't let it be personally about you. I think that's the one thing that a lot of people mess up on too. Like, I put out a, uh, uh, what is it, a post? What is it on, in no, it wasn't Instagram. It was on YouTube actually. So if you guys, you know, subscribe to me, you guys probably should have saw it. But I was referencing your t-shirt line as like you're a baby. And, you know, you grow it up. But some of you guys are, are kind of, like, scared to grow it up and let it do its own thing. So you guys put in too much with it. You put yourself out there. You you advertise. And I know exactly what I'm doing right now is advertising um, my web, not my website, but um, my clothing line on my, Inst my YouTube. But that's not, I'm not always talking about it. I'm not always making a post about it. I'm not always doing this and that because I want people to, you know, identify with it on their own. I mean, I know there's fans of Robert Loyal, but Smiley Outfitter actually has its own brand. So you have to let your your clothing line grow up on its own, do its own thing. You know, uh, that's the one thing I, I've been wanting to say to everybody who's starting starting out or at least doing this type of stuff. Let me see. So I need to go back into here. I know you guys can't see this because it's my um, I'm actually on my computer and this. I, I can't broadcast some of this stuff. 
but if I bring up sorry about that I bring up my designs here I can drop in this men's section and as you guys can see like I'm keeping stuff consistent you know like I'm not I'm not um, making anything extra you know I'm just putting in like different t-shirts you know making sure some of them get their glory and stuff like that and it's just consistent you know it's it's not one's better than the other or anything like that i think when people get into uh branding they should think about that a little bit more uh twitter i haven't seen i've been on twitter i haven't been on twitter actively like i like i should be um and that's that's kind of like my bad you know i need to actually get on there and do some more things and actually um, interact with some of my twitter followers and stuff like that it's just i think a lot of my time and not a lot of my time but a lot of like the stuff i got doing or going on going on i do use twitter but i don't use it as much as i should uh let me see on uh, this one i really don't have pictures for the guys uh let me see i can probably make some real quick Scale this one up. You guys, uh, you see how like these mock-ups are like really important though? Like this mock-up right here. I saw this one on, it's, it's actually on my Patreon. As a matter of fact, is Patreon even in the, uh, if you guys want to join my Patreon, it's $5 really, you know what I'm saying? And you get a lot of my t-shirt templates, which are just these mock-ups. Um, you guys should really look into it. I think it's a good thing. Let me see. I can probably add in another picture, like, up under. Like, I can probably add another picture, like, right here. You know, one that builds into itself. And then I can go from there. I think you guys should probably definitely look into getting into, like, my Patreon because um, I definitely give away free stuff, like, all the time. I haven't done much yet, or not yet, lately because I've been working and really trying to build for, let me see, Hong Kong. Oh, my God, bro. I've been really trying to build for um for my child because, you know, my child is coming into the world. Um, But I've been uh, really 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 been putting out some real stuff for you guys out there and i think a lot of people ah, you guys sometimes miss out on that stuff but then again i don't really advertise it that much either so it's like i can understand where you guys are coming from with some of these things some of these things where did i put that say it loud this right here i know i can use this guy like this mock-up right here um this this mock up that one that I just dropped in with this guy with the dreads, um, he actually that came from Design by Humans. Now, Design by Humans say I can let you guys get that, but you guys have to be signed up for Design by Humans to use. But then again, if you guys aren't, it's not that bad. Ashley wouldn't just ask me if this was Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, I'm not sure what video you're on, Ashley Wooden. Um, I'm using, right now, I'm using Photoshop. But yeah, we're going to build something out a little bit like this. <clears throat> and I think that looks pretty good. So the last thing to do here, um, which I need to just show you guys one more time before I continue going on. Um, but so we have the header up here that has the logo. Um, men and women size, you know, if anybody wants to go there. Um, of course, we have the, the what is it, uh, the announcement bar uh, where I'm going to be putting just in case, like, I do something like maybe, what is this called? What is it called? Like a, a, a donation somewhere, you know? So for every one shirt bought, you know, you can get that from, you can give a dollar to that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then we have the fold, which is the most, advertising like picture out there the most enticing engaging picture out there which is a guy wearing a hoodie wearing the smiley outfitters hoodie which you guys can buy once i get that link active and stuff like that it'll be be able to be clicked on it'll take you to the hoodie 
um and also we have like a girl she's sitting here texting not the best picture drawn in the world but i think it's going to be okay for this instance because everything is kind of like illustrated out and it's the shut up and smile line so i have the shirt for the shut up and smile guy of course you can't see the shut up and smile girl because the guy is in front of it but it still works itself out so if a guy wants to see the shop men section he can just click on shop men or if a girl want to go to the shop girl section or women section, she can click on the shop woman and go there. Um, and then immediately up under that, I have that shop woman section for any woman that wants to buy anything like that. And then it goes down further with some more engaging photos. Of course, I have my texture on here, which is the wave texture. More engaging photos. Everything that is here can be clicked on and it'll take you straight to that, that item. And then up under that, we have the shop men section of this, and it's pretty much consistent. Everything just stays consistent, right? And that's all we need for right now outside of this footer. So I need to make a footer real quick. So I'm gonna just drop this down maybe a few points right here. I think that's good. And I'm just gonna design out a footer that looks, that's gonna be consistent. Like I said, I'm gonna make a master page out of it. So. Normally, in this instance, sometimes what's, what people would do, and I think in this instance I should do this, but I'm not going to do it, but we'll have like a um, an email lister, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to know a little bit more about Smiley Alpha or whenever we bring something out, subscribe by, you know, putting your email in here right here, and now go to like, oh man, what's it called? Not Cold Monkey, or is it Cold Monkey? It's another little uh, website that you guys can collect email addresses so you can blast emails out to them. Not spam them, but blast emails out to them. I'm not going to do that right now um, but because I'm trying to really just get this done within the fastest time possible. But, um, yeah, it's that's something that you guys can put before the footer and go from there. Now, I'm trying to keep the colors consistent with the logo because I feel like those colors would be a little bit more natural. So we're going to click on this brown here and make this footer like a brown just a little bit. Uh, let me see. Let me check you guys. So, man, Ryan, Ryan Oceros, Oceros, I'm, I'm not sure if that's how I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying this right or not, but you're from Hong Kong. And that's amazing. I didn't even never thought that I'd find anybody from Hong Kong. I think, um. The, I didn't even know the furthest I went was I think the furthest I've, I've actually interacted with somebody was from like Germany Hong Kong is a long ways out so shout out to you I think I'm gonna click on this blue I think I want this blue instead let me look at it like this oh please don't crash on me Photoshop has been crashing on me you guys and it's, it sucks so bad see what that looks like I mean it looks pretty cool I think uh, from up here I think everything looks good so I'm just gonna save this you guys file save all right because only you can prevent lost save data make sure you file and save <laughs> don't be that guy all right so I'm here let me go ahead and turn my guides back on and I'm just gonna continue working this out So usually in the footer, you have like, you know, the address, a P.O. box. If you guys want to put a P.O. box down there, um, you have like the, what is it? The uh, the copyright, you know what I'm saying? Um, you have a bunch of other stuff, right? I'm going to just pull a lot of this stuff from like my, my original website. Okay. Smiley, smileyoutfitters.com. And I'm just going to just copy that stuff and paste it down here. I'm sorry, paste it down there. So, you know, we got what's going on. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even look like I have anything down here. So, uh, let me see. I can just put, like, the followers, the Facebook, the Instagram. I don't think I have a Twitter for real. I don't. Yeah, I had a Twitter. Um, and I'm going to put the, the Smiley Outfitters original logo down there as well. So, I'll just do that. from the uk what's going on man I, i'm loving you guys <laughs> like i've never known that i had uk like followers you guys are pretty cool 
tell me you guys is uh what's your brand tell me about y'all's brand let me i want to know what brands are following me right now because starting soon like i said like i'm doing um t-shirt fridays again what is it fresh fridays again and I want to know the brands that are following me, especially not only that, I want to buy from you guys as brands too, but that's that's on a whole nother level. We're going to talk about that soon. Like I've been saying, like that video will be out not this Friday, but next Friday. So you guys will know that I'm doing Fresh Fridays again, but I want to know about you guys as brands. So what brands are following me? What are you guys as brands? Tell me the name of your brand and tell me a little bit about tell me a little bit about it. Do anybody watch uh, Jade? Oh man, I'm not even gonna say her name right. It's like Jade Dharm Dharma Wags Dharma Wagas. I don't know. You can call her Jade. <laughs> she has that ass Jade show. Does anybody watch that? I think she's a beast. I think everything that she gives is straight value. And it's usually about Instagram. It's not. It's it's rarely about like, um. It's rarely about like, um, you know, marketing tips and stuff like that. Well, it is marketing tips, but it's rarely like she's selling you anything. Is it's always about like Instagram, and she's always giving value. Oh, uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna put the followers. I think I want everything lined up at the bottom. So I'll hit this like here. Follow us at Okay, I can drop this down like this. And then I'll put like the Instagram, the Facebook, and the Twitter right there. Uh, but first, let me scoot this stuff up because I don't want it like this. Golly. Alrighty. Scoop that up right there. And then I'll put like the social links and then the what is it? The uh the copyright right here. Which would be she draw that in yeah that j dharma wagza dharma wagzen dharma wagza i don't know she's cool though i think she's really awesome you guys should definitely check out her channel why am i giving shout outs to somebody that's like bigger than me Uh, what is that? Do you do you code your own website or use a drag and drop platform? I do not code my own website, but in this instance, I just want to be fast. I want to be diligent and fast, so I really don't have time to sit back in HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript. I will if I have to, and in some in in Muse, Adobe Muse, you can. I've done some JavaScripting in there as well. I've done some coding in there as well. Um, do I like doing it? Yeah, it gets time consuming. I'm a graphic designer, okay, and graphic design uh, doesn't always necessarily mean coding. All right, you learn it, but if that's something that you want to pursue. That's not always the outcome of graphic design isn't always um, HTML coding and all that stuff. So, yeah, I can, but no, I'm not always going to do it. All right. And I think that is all we need as far as like one single web page. All righty. So this is what we're going to do. All right. Um. 
for all of this to work out, I have to make most of this stuff a picture, all right? Which means that I have to take, I have to take all of this, like some of the stuff that's, you know, there. I need to highlight all of it and then put those into like one group. And then export those groups out. So, like this section right here, as you can see, I'm missing out the uh, the feet. You know, so this section right here, we'll call this in my uh, in my layers panel. Uh, was we'll call it the fold. Uh, matter of fact, I'll call it shut up and smile. fold all right and i know you guys can't see this but what i'm doing is i'm turning this into a smart object so when i go and export this out and then i put this in um adobe muse it comes in as a picture all right and then from there it can scale up and down which i'm gonna show you guys exactly how i do it and then i'm gonna show you guys the outcome of me not coding too like <laughs> It, there's things that comes with this now these two buttons i really don't need um i really don't need to see them but it can be there it's all right being there it's not really a problem but i have the fold the next thing is these pictures here so i have to select out these pictures at least and put those into one group I can't forget that logo as well. Uh, maybe I don't need the logo. Actually, I don't need the logo, so I'm gonna take out this button. Bring it up to the top like this. So really, I just need this photo here. So I need to turn all this into a photo. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I wanna do that. Because I, I don't want to give people the chance to click on these and there's or hover over it and there's a hover effect to go along with it. Um, do I really want that with the shut up and smile though? Not really. Can I animate the shut up and smile? I probably could. Um, and that's something that we can explore later on. Like this won't be that won't be live. I think I'm gonna do that some other time. But down here with the this picture here. Um, I think I can take out the clothing, give that its own asset, and let that do its own thing. So let's just click on those. And really that just leaves like this bottom section. So I'll let that, I'll do that. I'll let that live on its own. So we'll just take this bottom section export that out as uh, for more style. I think I'll, I'll call that smiley women styles. Graphic tees. Yeah. And then see. Hmm. See, I can't do the uh, the scroll effect. I mean, not the scroll. I can't do the hover effect if one is on top of the other. I don't think it, I don't even think it's gonna export out like that either. We'll see. We'll see. So, I'm just gonna take the man. I'm just gonna take all of this here like this. Put it into one group. Smiley men. Um, what did I call it? It's styles. Okay. And I really don't need to do anything down here at the bottom. I think maybe because I had to turn this black from black to white. Uh, yeah. I'll leave that alone. But that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start exporting these. Yeah, I'm, uh, this will be live. Um... Yeah, it's going to go live tonight. 
this is gonna go live tonight. So when I get done, it probably will be. Let me see. I think because I w I'm thinking about animating some of this stuff, so there will be a live version of this. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be live. I'll, I'll make it live because I have to make a um, a mobile version of it as well. You know, so. I have to sign in. So let me see. Help. Let's sign into my account. And then I'll start. Uh, I'll start exporting this stuff out. I see here. My brand name is Dollars. Dollars. Was it Dollars and Dollars? And I'm trying to make some teenager stuff. A little bit like hype B style. I just made three t-shirt designs, but this is this is the start. Okay. Um, what is it? I actually have made some generators, you guys. Um, the last generator I've made was fourteen ninety nine, um, and that was kind of like hype B style. Let me see if I can show you guys. Let me go ahead and sign it to my Adobe ID real quick first before I do anything else. <laughs> I kind of multitask a lot and then I get off track and then you guys are like, oh, you're off track And then I'm not doing things right <laughs> um, Let me see. Where's that generator? Okay Click on this Uh-oh All right, I've created an overprint. So the first, the first thing I created was an overprint generator. All right, um, and it doesn't look like much, right? Until we actually start dropping things into it. So uh, let me just say, let me just take out like this text right here, and we put in something like I don't know. I don't know. Let's just say the smiley logo. You know, I haven't used this logo in a little while, and we hit save, right? It'll give it a second to like save out and then you get like this kind of like overprint thing. So you have that overprint design. We can uh, we can do other things like I think maybe I think I was playing around with like Goku or something like that one time. Let me see if I can find that Goku. That Goku uh, PNG that I was working with yeah, It's this one right here. Because teenagers will eat that. I've seen a whole lot of teenagers just mess around with, like, overprint, you know? And that's something that I was going to work on, I think, maybe a while ago was, you know, talking about different type of styles that you can use that are hype beast like um, This might not be the best example, but, you know, you get this kind of, like, a little effect, you know? And then you can just scale it up and export it out. Do you know what I mean? How much for a store audit and guidance? Just hit me up on Instagram and I'll I'll, um, I'll respond to you on that one. Are you going to upload this? Yeah, at the end. Uh, let me see. So, yeah. So, as you can see, this is like the effect of the overprint generator. I actually have another one that I was working on um, where it will take your design like if you design something out it's going to give you like a supreme kind of look to it i haven't finished that one out yet <clears throat> and i also have well i can't talk about that generator yet <clears throat> because it's, it's in the works but i do have this one and i have the supreme one that's still kind of being finished out the supreme one is almost done i'll have that one out for you guys later but this overprint generator I'm 100% sure, like, you can do some other things with this. Like, if you want to make this, like, supreme-like, boom, just slap that out like this. Put, like, maybe a black one over its face. And then do what you do with it, you know? Type in something. Well, let's type in, like, just because you say a hype beast, you know, we can type in hype beast, scale that up. 
Let me see. Just slap this like maybe like right here. Um, click on it like this. I'm not sure how advanced you are in like Photoshop, but um, you could do something a little bit like this and slap that on a T-shirt. Not saying Goku, because please don't use Goku. You know, I don't. I'm kind of just playing around with this. Actually, I'm gonna export this out so you guys can see a little bit more. But you can do something a little bit like that. Slap that on a T-shirt, and Emma is ready to go. And like I said, that was only fifteen dollars. You can get that, and you can use that anytime, any way you want to, however you want to. It's just good for you to go. Uh, but yeah, so. That's one thing. Oh my god, my back is killing me, you guys. I still haven't got that uh, that chair. I was gonna get it, but then I found out that I was a father, so I was just like, "Oh dang, let me start saving out this money, <laughs> so I can, you know, do some things with it, so I can save and, you know, get my kid like his car whenever he wanted." Oh, I'm having a son. His name is Cashton Alexander. I can't wait to see him. I can't wait to hold him. Um, but let me see here. Uh, let's just start doing this, this, this exporting, which I've been dreading because it takes a whole lot of like power for do, to do that stuff. And it's kind of like <laughs> already killing my computer. I'm not going to save that. And I don't want to save that text PSB. All right. Uh, so let's start off with the top of this which would be not that I did say I wanted to keep that out so I'm thinking this was it right here right no mm, excuse me let's start off with the fold I'm going to go ahead and pull out the fold. So all I have to do is just right click in my layers panel. I know you guys can't see it, but um, let's export it out as a PNG. <clears throat> um, and I'm just going to dump this into a folder that makes sense. So I'm going to bring up a new, let me see, Smiley Outfitters. I'll just put in website right here and this will be the plan this is I'm calling this the shut up and smile plan and this is the smiley outfitters what is that men and women fashion or styles and we'll call it the fold all right uh so we got that and then we got to get this one at the bottom i'm actually going to grab group okay i can't grab all of the group thank you for everybody that's saying congratulations right now like you guys don't know like it's 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 like really hitting me it, i'm about to be a father you know like i'm really happy Uh, I'm gonna call this one here. I'm gonna leave that as as it is. Yeah, we'll leave that one as it is. Oh, um, you guys, my Instagram has changed. I'm so sorry about. Wait, is it? Is it not working? You just make sure, yeah, it, it's working, it's up. Um, but my Instagram has changed, so I'm about to go ahead and add you guys my Instagram, which is Robert Loyal. L E. There you go. And we'll click on this one. Let's find this one. I'm pretty sure it probably is like the bottom one. I called it Men, right? Yeah. Men styles. There we go. Um, and then we'll export this out. And then with that, we'll be able to go in 
to the Adobe Muse and start putting some cool stuff out. So, uh, that one's done. I'm just going to go ahead and save. I really don't need this, but I am going to export the entire file out real quick as a PN, no, as a JPEG. And then I'm going to drop it into Adobe Muse so I can look at it as I'm designing it all out. Because I want things to be a little bit consistent, but I want things to be consistent from the, the, from the plan to the actual execution. So we're going to just save for web. Hopefully this all doesn't crash because freaking Photoshop has been crazy on me, you know, has been going crazy. Let me see here. Uh, JPEG, the max I'm going to get out of this. And then I'll hit save. Go to the shut up and smile plan. Click that. And there we go. I wanted to include downloads on there. I was thinking about doing, um, what do you call it? Oh, man, what do you call it? Stickers. The stickers for your cell phones. Um, I thought I saw some some clothing lines doing that stuff, and I was like, man, that's amazing. Like, I should be doing that stuff. Like, that's really cool. Let me see. I'm going to bring up Adobe Muse now. <clears throat> All right, so let me bring in OBS. Uh, this one was going to here. Let's see, I'm bringing it back to Nintendo because I want to talk about that. And this one was going to, okay, we can actually send this one to Where's Adobe Muse? <laughs> Gotta find it, you guys. <clears throat> Good look on the, the link. All right, yeah, definitely, man. Follow me, and we can talk it all out. But I can't find... I don't understand why. Oh, it's right here. Hit OK. And then we can bring it up. Oh, of course, I got to scale it up and all that. All right, you guys, this is Adobe Muse, and mm, it's looking a little, looking a little tight. Let me go ahead and turn off this in the back so you guys can see it just a little bit more. Uh, do I want to move over this stuff? Let me move it over so you guys can see, because I don't do my regular website plans like everybody else do I do it in a different way all right uh, so here is Adobe Muse I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about it it was a big phenomenon some years ago a lot of people uh, what is it let's see there was a lot of people who came up on YouTube just doing Adobe Muse you know and then out of nowhere Adobe was like nope the the, pro the project is is crap like Let's just stop it, cut our losses with it, and just keep it moving, right? So they um, they stopped it, you know? They, they stopped updating it, but you guys can still download it, I think, for you guys who are looking to do things like Wix, but Wix is too advanced for you guys. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you were trying to do Squarespace, and Squarespace is like the apple of like web design on the internet or CMS. Um, this right here gives you the opportunity to design in Photoshop, export it out, bring it over here into like Adobe Muse and make the exact same thing that you just designed. All right. I think it's a good, I really, no, I believe in this stuff here. So I'm just going to create a new masters. And I'm going to call this the, um, what is it? I'm going to call this Smiley 2.0 because I've been trying to rebrand this in its own way. Ashley, what's going on? Ashley, it's been a minute. I haven't seen you in a while. I want to change this. Let's see. Change the masters to the Smiley 2.0. And I can design this from here. Now, 
I do have other plans for my website. I don't think uh, I've talked about it yet. But um, the website, the the clothing line is going to parody a lot of things. I think a lot of people have been asking me about parody to the point where I'm just like, I'm going to do some parody for you guys, right? Um, and because it's going to be doing some parody, the, the look of the website is going to almost change every month. Like, I want it to have a cover page. Like, we haven't seen cover page websites in a long time, right? So there will be a cover page going on. I just haven't designed that yet. It will be here, but just you know, we got to give it a little moment. I think I need to add on to this real quick. I need to add a breakpoint. So the breakpoint is going to be 2880, I think. All right. Let's scale back on this. Yep, and then we can bring these down to like 1500 or 16. It doesn't really matter. But the first thing I need to do is create my layers panel. Actually, I need to go into the header and I need to create some headings. So if you guys remember from my Photoshop, I had um I had some guides and stuff like that, and I think the first guide landed on 500 yeah just a little bit under 500 so i'm just gonna put that at 500 as a matter of fact let me just go ahead and drop in that picture now so i've exported out a picture and i wanted that picture to uh be like a guide for me so i'm not messing up so we'll drop that in real quick the website plan And it is as simple as a drag and drop, like, oops. It's, it's as simple as a drag and drop, you guys. I just designed this out. <laughs> now, I don't have to, I'm not going to do it like this because I think that would be uh, stupid. But I will drag this out and then I'll design it so it'll work out so we can do some things. But as you can see, like, this is not looking all that good because it's all pixel-based. But let me see here. So everything is 2880. Everything lines up just a little bit. Let me just make sure that I can get this lined up a little bit more. So that I can... All right. I think everything on the left looks good. Everything on the right looks good. We can resize this to... No, we don't have to resize it. So the first thing here is that we need to bring. Oh, the, this is the footer. So I actually need to bring the footer down some. And of course, that's not the footer. So we know the bottom of the page is like all the way down here. Whoops. Let me bring that there. And then we need to bring the footer values down as well and then this line right here is the header so that header needs to go to 500 and now I can start building out from there so the first thing I need to do is create a block for my for my uh, announcements and stuff like that so i'll drop this down and let's see using let's see the rectangle tool i really don't like using the rectangle tool because it messes up we have an image tool and stuff like that and they just both the coding just kind of messes up all the time but i'm gonna stretch that to a uh, browser width and then i need to make this that brown that goes with it so this brown here Right? Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? And then uh, the next thing I need to do is put in this logo. So 
I'll take the rectangle frame tool. Are you guys like I'm, I'm sure you guys are you guys using um, Adobe Muse? Like, let me know in the comment section. I want to know who uses Adobe Muse because I've been wanting to do um, I've been wanting to do tutorials, but I don't think you guys are even hip like that yet. So tell me in the comment section, are you guys using Adobe Muse or not? Because I think this would be value. I think this would be like something that you guys would love. Mm -mm. Yeah, Ashley, I've been busy too, you know. Um, I know you stay in the area, but what are you working on? Where are you? And I'm not going to ask you where you work at, but what do you work on, you know? Tell me a little about what you do. Let me see here. I need to go into here like this and find the website's logo. So branding, um, logo, I think it was not that one, it's show not that one either, let's see, it's, where is it, oh, it might be this one right here. Yeah, I've been wanting to do some tutorials on Adobe Muse, but, um, oh yeah, no, nah, that's, that's not it. I can't use this one. I've been wanting to do Adobe Muse tutorials for a while, um, but I haven't, I don't know if, like, if, since you guys aren't hip, I have to actually get you guys to it, and like I said, they did just kind of like, they did just answer so a bunch of so here's the story about adobe muse right because it came out and it gave um web designers not web designers but graphic designers the chance to be web designers um it made a whole bunch of web designers mad because they were like oh we went to school for coding which you know i didn't like coding i like coding but i don't like coding to the point where i'm just like mm, i want to code all the time you know what i'm saying and it, it does there is that it takes a strong man to be a coder but it takes a very bored man to be a coder too. I'm just gonna keep it real. And in this instance, a lot of people were like, well, that's cool and all that you can code and all that, but I wanna see, I wanna see the design before I even buy in anything, you know? And because a lot of people were like that, because a lot of people were like that, um, a lot of people who are just being regular graphic designers was like, well, shoot, I can design this and give you guys a mock-up and give you guys a, um, I give you a mock-up and I can give you like what it's going to look like and how it's going to react and how it's going to work right then and there, you know? And with that, <laughs> with that, you know, things kind of like became revolutionary with Adobe Muse, but then you had the coding aspect of it, which was it came out with bad code and all that stuff. And, you know, a lot of people were just kind of upset about that because, you know, bad code means that, you know, it's not always going to react right. Where is my web fonts? Okay. I had more web fonts than that, though, so I need to add some web fonts. I'm pretty sure I signed in. Can I not sign in? Oh. Yeah, um, I'm sorry if I'm confusing anybody. You probably answered the question, but is this program free? It's definitely not. I'm not going to say it's free. If you have Creative Cloud, you know, it's $50 a month, okay? You have Creative Cloud, it's $50 a month. I had Adobe Muse. I bought Adobe Muse back in 2013. 15 because I was in class and I needed something that I didn't want to code basically <laughs> I didn't want to code um, but I you know and this ties into what I was saying about coding and people just seeing the design plan and just having it you know you design it and keep it moving or you sit there and code 
and all that stuff. So I went to Full Sail University, and everybody knows Full Sail is a four-week program, and then you move into another class, or it's a one-year program, and you have every month a new class. Um, and at this one last class, I needed it was sink or sail, you know, like. So I was like, let me just get a W Muse. Let me pay for the program, and I can just use this for my clients and stuff like that. I can make what I need to on the fly. I can from Photoshop to to Adobe Muse and go from there. It says, please ro log into your Adobe ID, which I thought I did. I thought I did. I have to wait because I need my web fonts. <laughs> You guys, I need them web fonts. I can't, I can't continue to move without these web fonts. Let me see. Maybe I can. No, I need that Adobe. I need that Futura Bold. It's gonna give me, uh, it's gonna give me an image. So I might not be able to upload this later on because if I can't get Futura Bold, then it's not gonna work out for me. Let me see here. Let me see here. These web fonts, they're not even. This is the one thing I hate about Adobe. Like, the program is so slow. Come on, man. You see me, I'm trying to do a video here. Please sign into the software. I'm <laughs> sitting here signing in. Well, I guess this is some time where I can actually answer some of you guys' questions. So what questions do you guys might have or should have or anything like that? I can go ahead and answer it. Let me see here. Congrats. Good luck. I love your videos. Thank you for the hard work bringing, bringing us so much value and information. Thank you. It's always about the value. Uh, anybody have like questions about the generator because I was thinking about doing some videos on the straight generator so you guys can when y'all need it you know how can I grow my IG page um, yeah it's no bueno um, growing your IG page I think I think you should probably have a you should probably have a content uh, management system, like what you or a schedule. Let's just say that, like a content management management schedule. So, what you're gonna upload on Wednesdays, or not Wednesday, but Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursday, Friday. Um, what type of voice and tone are you gonna have when you when you upload things? Like, what type of captions are you gonna use? Um, what type of look and feel are you gonna have for your images? So, like, what is your every Monday gonna look like? What is your every Tuesday going to look like? Um, what type of tags are you going to use? What type of uh, relevant tags, okay, are you using? You should really plan those out. Um, I always tell people this to go back from, go back to like the very beginning uh, when I put up that how to grow a t-shirt or how to design a t-shirt business or make a t-shirt business. I think that was the video. How to get started in the t-shirt business, basically. Um, and basically, you need to know your target audience you need to know uh, those demographics that, that they're from. So are they from California? Are they from Texas? What do they value out there, right? Um, and then integrate that into, like, your Instagram. So out here, we don't have the Rams anymore. But we have the Cardinals. Like, Cardinals is our thing. St. Louis Cardinals, you know, um, 10, you get an A out of A. You get an A, 100 out of 100, 10 out of 10. It's there. You know, you're going to be cool with the Cardinals all the time. So, um, start making posts about the Cardinals. Don't make a t-shirt about the Cardinals, you know, unless they, you know, pay you to do that. But start making some posts about the Cardinals. Say, um, we bought you some part some Cardinal tickets and we hid it underground. If you find it, you're the, you're the winner. You know what I'm saying? Do something like that. Like, get into the minds of those people, of those demographics. So, you want to know the target audience. You know, what are they like? What are they into? Or not what are they into, but, um, yeah, what are they like? What are they into? How old they are? You know, race? You know, all that stuff. That matters. And then demographics. Where do they live? Are they on campus? 
Do they have their own house? You know? Um, and then really start molding into that and then use that on your Instagram. I promise you things will grow. Now, for me, I'm an influencer page. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can no longer just put up like, you know, T-shirts and stuff like that on my channel. Not my channel, but my Instagram and grow like that. I mean, I can, you know, because you guys like that type of stuff. But as an influencer or influencer, whatever you want to say, um, I'm more about me. You know, I'm not really trying to sell. I'm more of like, can you guys subscribe to me? So I have to I have to niche down more like that than anything. If that makes any sense. H A. All right. <sighs> so I had to log into Adobe Creative Cloud, and hopefully, Typekit will work. Hopefully, because like Tilden Jones just said, it can be wonky, you know, it's no bueno. And I 100% agree with you, bro, because Typekit sucks. <laughs> hey, I found your channel three days ago and I found more value in your AI tutorials in the 20 minutes than two years of school. Thank you for so much for the inspiration. Look, check this out. I went to school for uh, media design, graphic design. Matter of fact, I went to school for journalism back in 2007. And, right, it was like, it was like, I all I learned in there, in journalism, all I learned was how to, like, turn an image black and white, all right? Didn't do anything with it, you know? Um, of course, when I became a frat man, you know, I started making, like, poster flyers and stuff like that. But, you know, I didn't learn that from school. I had to read a book or something like that or just play around with it. And then when I got to uh, my master's for media design, you know, graphic design, media design for Full Sail, I mean, those the people that was in class with me, were it seemed like they were so far advanced because they knew how to use, like, Illustrator and, and Photoshop and stuff like that. But then, like, when it came down to mind frame, I was like, a little bit ahead of them like we all had our strengths but knowing those programs that's just not something that you're gonna learn you know what i'm saying like you're not just gonna learn in school basically but you will have to learn how to do it um to see like the overprint the overprint generator like you would be surprised how many people who are graphic designers who don't know how to use over or don't know how to do overprint don't know spot coloring you know don't know uh type like font typography you know can't do typography you know this type of stuff it, it's it it's crazy but it's the truth now i've logged in <laughs> and it says please sign in to register your your software under adobe id so i'm wondering and this is i'm just wondering if they got rid of if they got rid of a uh, type kit in creative class in this let me see i'm gonna try to no i'm in so i should be able to use it i had to maybe i just had to like no it's not working i oh, no, it is working uh let me see next question am i limiting myself by not using photo shoot or illustrator or is it okay to still use gimp and inkscape you know look the tools are just the tools okay tools are just tools i think you're limiting yourself using photoshop illustrator gimp inkscape instead of using a pencil that's where i really think i think if you had a pencil paper you can create all the designs that you want to asap you know and then you can take that into like photoshop and illustrator and go from there that's the biggest thing i have with people i'm not i'm not saying you or anything like that but people who are youtubers and i, I do it myself too sometimes but i want to really start getting back into that like draw out your elements then then like go to photoshop and instagram well, not instagram but illustrator gimp ink space or whatever or inkscape you do all of that first draw it out first 
you know, pick your colors, understand your design, pick your colors, you know, understand the targeting. And in, in terms, things will be a little bit more easier. So I need this Futura and it says I already have it. So I'm just gonna click on it and then hopefully it should come into my web fonts, which it did not. So let me see here. I gotta find it. Who's doing Inktober? I'm actually doing Inktober this year. Oh shoot, that's coming out in the next couple of weeks, ain't it? All right, so I think what I have to do here today is save this. All right, so I'm gonna save all of this. I need to log out. <laughs> I have to log out and then log back in. So we're gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna throw this back over in here. And we're gonna put this on website and then save. It says you said unsync, then resync. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do because it seems as if <laughs> type type kit is not working right now. So let me. I'll, I'm gonna try to unsync and then resync real quick. Whenever this gets done, all right. Uh, let's see. And it's so crazy how things work and then they stop working like right then and there. <sighs> Just and now it's moving all slow. Because <laughs> this program is a beast. I'm going to actually go back to the Photoshop. You guys, I think... So, since a lot of people are asking about it, like, I know you guys were saying that you don't know... Or some people were saying they didn't know anything about Adobe Muse. Get the link. So, the link is in the description, all right? It's, I have it. It says, click here to download Adobe Muse. Um, it's going to take you to another link where they have, like the last up install of updated install so you can get um for if you have a mac or if you have a, a windows computer it's right there you can click on it download it you do have to have um creative cloud you have to have a creative cloud account and once you get the creative cloud account it's gonna i think it's 15 dollars a month or something like that but like i said 15 dollars a month you can just go into photoshop or in the case of ashley you can go into like uh gimp inkscape create like your design and then export it out export it all out like you want to bring it into like adobe muse and just build it out from there really simple you don't have to worry about code unless you really need code so i'm just gonna go ahead i saved it it did i tried to resync all right i tried to resync and stuff it didn't work all right so i'm gonna have to come out of muse real quick i'll actually as a matter of fact while i'm getting this back up i want to explain some things to you guys about why I'm, why i'm doing this stuff in uh teespring and why teespring is like i think there's an opportunity missed with teespring that we're that we're not exploring so i'm gonna bring up a website that i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like comfortable with or know a little a little bit about which is Nintendo. Um, Nintendo. Nintendo sells a lot of games, <laughs> a lot of a lot of devices and stuff like that, but they don't sell it on their website. As a matter of fact, they send, they they have contracts with people who, you know, buys those devices and sell it to the consumer directly. All right, so we'll never be able to buy a Nintendo Switch. Um, from the actual website so if i go to nintendo switch like i just clicked on um i can hit the buy now button maybe they will i don't know what's included 300 dollars. like maybe if i hit the buy now and let's see what happens no it's coming soon you see like you'll never be able to get it and then here listed is the walmart retailer so <laughs> if you want to get it you got to go to walmart you know 
they're not the retailers they, they only have it in in one spot you can't get it from here now, even it says it says here you know check local retailers for availability you know you guys won't be able to buy a nintendo switch from nintendo not from them directly not at all you know and i feel that's the way that's the direction i'm going in with um teesprings you know with the website i want to be able to i want to be able to connect teespring to the website except when people click on things it takes them to the retailer which is teesprings all right i don't want to be the i don't want to be that guy right i want to be the middleman or what is it i want to be the man that takes you to that spot right and with that here's my teesprings like website so it has everything that i've pretty much been working on right here oh, i love this shirt you know i'm gonna have to buy this shirt today sometime love this little shirt man but that's just how it is you know and it's always going to be a buy it now and there's never going to be a um what do you call it like i think they have like a minimum where you have to like buy it or something like that like no you don't have to i'm not doing the minimum okay you can buy it now and you can get it tomorrow or it's going to be available it's always going to be available you know it, yeah people it scares people off to see that available until monday thing but it's always going to be available let me go ahead and get back into adobe muse but i just think that you know nintendo is doing something that a lot of people aren't i i used to think apple did it at one point in time, Apple was doing it. Like, you couldn't buy an Apple device from Apple. You had to go to the Apple store. Yeah, no, they do do it. Like, you can buy it from here, okay? But you have to go pick it up from the Apple store. I don't think they send it to your house, or do they? I'm not 100% sure. You guys let me know. Um, but that's, that's what I was more into, which was just being the middleman for the retailer, right? And that's the thing with um teesprings that they kind of like opened up well a lot of people weren't really hip about it but you know oh yeah new iphone x xs max xxr whatever all that stuff just came out yesterday okay all of that stuff just came out yesterday uh inktober what do you what is inktober inktober uh so a few years ago a youtuber or was he just a blogger a blogger came out with this um, this idea that for one month, he's just going to design on topic or draw out on topic, illustrate every day. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that was something that was gaining some popularity. I think uh, a lot of people caught on to it and then they just started doing it. So every October on the 1st up until the 31st, you draw something, you know, whatever that topic is for that day, you just draw it, right? Um, so it could be like pumpkin race cars for day one and you come up with your own iteration of that you know uh, it's a really it's a really good idea it helps people practice it helps people become a little bit more stronger in illustration and you guys I think you guys should definitely get into it I know I'm doing it this year so you guys will see every day on my Instagram something different for inktober and it's a list you know it's a list of stuff so you know everybody's on beat with it hopefully he puts out that list sometime next week so i can get into it i'll share it with everybody and we'll go from there um mo bucket said what about shopify um shopify i think it's cool i don't like paying for it but i think it's cool and then again it's, it kind of pays for itself i'm not gonna say i don't like paying for it it does pay for itself so if it's something that you're into um yeah it's really simple to set up i think here on uh, adobe muse they call it, um, uh, dang, what is it called? Shop, Shoppy or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but there's, it's, it's kind of like a little app that you can add on. And it's really cool to go with. So we're here. We're back. Um, I'm pretty sure this is not what that looks like. So let me go ahead and bring that up like this there we go and we're just gonna continue building out the unlimited 20 and it just did its own thing 
again, which is okay because like I'm not mad about that. Oh no, that's right. I have to, I was actually working on this. All right, so now we're back, right? And I can take this disgusting little image frame out, add in. We just make sure that I'm signed in, which I am. Go into text, web fonts, and I can add in Fatura, Fatura Bold. Right? And I continue, I can continue to design what I'm trying to design because it's easy. It's so easy. We ain't got to worry about anything else here. Um, so I'm going to type in the word men. I think this was 48. Go ahead and do this. And then on the other side, I'll type out women right here. On a 48. And also put that text so it's consistent. We'll use that recent font, Futura Bold Bold. <laughs> you know it's real when it's twice. Like. All right, so. Now, just turning it off and on so you guys can see when I turn off the JPEG, we pretty much got what we need. Like, it's pretty much going in that direction. I do need to change the web font colors, though, so I'm going to select both of those, and I'm going to change the fill, maybe? I think it's the fill. No, I'm going to change the color from here. And it needs to be... Actually, let me zoom in real quick. I think it needs to be uh, this brown. I think I had it as this brown right here. Yep. And then when there's a rollover, I need to add rollover effects. So whenever I roll over it, um, it's going to turn, both of them needs to turn into, I think maybe, I want it to be a blue. I think I'll do the rollover when I start adding in like the pictures and stuff like that. Yep. All right. So we're going to come down here to the footer. And I'm going to add that picture back so I can make sure that that's right. Right here. And then in the footer, I'm just going to add the footer so it'll be like a blue line like this. Or a blue box like this. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to bring that footer down some. Like over here. And then we'll stroke, make that color this blue. Is that the stroker feel? I think I messed up. All right. So when I turn this off. So there, we have our master page. I know that's kind of hard to see, but there's our masters. So up here I can... Uh, add in the message that I'm trying to add in which would be I think I was going for I don't think I even want to put anything there yet because if I put something there if I put something here it has to be true and at this point in time it wouldn't be true because I don't have nothing to put there yet so I mean I can put something in just for the sake of the tutorial I think I messed up. I'm gonna put something in just in just for the sake of the tutorial, but I don't have nothing to put in technically. So I'm gonna type in. Uh, let's see, what would be a good thing to type in? Uh, we'll type in like retail. Follow, maybe follow us on Instagram. And then I'll put like details like this.
right? And of course, because I use Futura Bold, I should just make sure that's bold too. And we should put this white. I can add a hyperlink real quick, which will be HTTPS www.instagram.com forward slash what is it? Smiley Outfitters. And then also you can style these. That's another thing about this. You can style the hyperlinks. So I'll go back here, out here like this. Oh my God, you guys can barely, I don't know if you guys can see these because uh, because it's OBS is kind of wonky and stuff like that. I'm gonna see, I'm just gonna check it out. If you guys can see it, let me know. But I wanna, I wanna style this out real quick. Let's see. Let's see. View. Oh shoot! I probably forgot how to do this. Um. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's. Oh yeah, site properties. There we go. So going to file. <clears throat> if you guys get this, <clears throat> if you guys get it, go on the file. Go down to site properties. Click on site properties, and then go to a content yeah go into content and the default link style like you can change the color of it right i want this to be more of like a blue like a, a lighter blue okay and i think that should be good so when i go back into it it's not that darker blue that we had it's more of a lighter blue and that looks pretty good um now the next thing i need to do is just make sure that when this scales in everything looks good which at this point in time it's not yeah it's not uh so we have to <clears throat> we have to make this kind of like flow right so we need to set like points to where things look as if maybe to where like if it looks as if like it's gonna start tightening up and we need to fix it out we can do it there so I'm gonna add like a break point right here and I want to make sure that everything stays on beat so we'll pull that down like this or no we'll scale it up like this and then pull it down So it stays on beat with each other. And then this link, I think this was about the crunch itself down. So <clears throat> first I need to like middle align this and then we'll go from there. And of course I haven't put anything in that gutter well, in that uh, footer. So it's not much to even work on yet. So this right here, as you can see, is kind of like pulling itself out, which that's not good. So I'm just going to kind of like fix it. We need this smiley logo to stay center, like dead center. <laughs> Nita. Something like this, right? And continue to like pull it out. Right here is kind of deviating from where it's supposed to be, so we need to keep that center. So I need to go back. About like right here and make sure that women like that pulls out like that nope this pulls out like that you know can 
continue to pull this out some. All right, and I can pull this out like this. Now, I think this, the difference between like coding this and doing this on like um, here, doing this here, um, Actually, let me put this at 1440. I don't think this looks good here. The difference from doing this on like Adobe Muse and then coding it out, the one difference that we get is that it's a whole, this right here would be a whole lot easier to code out than just like doing it like this. Whoops. All right. So if I continue to go down like this, I can add one right here. But you also like start to understand what your website looks like. Oops, excuse me, when you do it like this. Okay, and then right here. And then I can turn this off. Yep. Put that out like that. Put that out like this. Now, one thing about um, fonts or type in um, Adobe Muse is that we can't make it um we can't make it look a certain way so this is normal browser width right here you know what i'm saying or browser length um and this might look good to some people so like if i hit the preview button i'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it let me see if you guys can see it real quick like this might look good but it does look a little big. Um, actually, this looks fine with me. I'm cool with it. I'll try to get this center, though. As a matter of fact, is there a way I can probably highlight everything? No, nah, that's not going to work. I think this looks good right here. I should use guides, but I'm not really tripping off guides right now. Let me go back into the preview. Because as you can see, this is this browser, this browser width right here is a little different. Um, I think this is a 1440. So... I probably messed up somewhere in the 1440. Yep, I did. So I can essentially move this over just a little bit. Like that. And then go back into preview real quick. Yep, that looks better. That looks stronger. As everything lines up in the middle and it looks good. I think that looks good right there. <clears throat> so I can bring over the 17 or the 1075 right here and then to 960 and then everything that goes after that which will probably condense itself down all right so mm, all right back is hurting yo <laughs> um, I'm gonna go back out here to these plans and honestly I'm getting ready to delete delete all of this because like I don't use it that much anymore you know I know this is gonna cause problems on the website but once I update it and, and continuously start updating it and stuff like that, if I delete the home page, 
That shouldn't be a problem. As you can see, everything works with each other, so it's like really, really, <laughs> really happening. Let me see here. Delete that index because I don't need that no more. Delete this out. This is going to be a problem though when I update that. When I go to update, like all of that stuff has to update itself and. I mean, I'm just going to keep it real. Deleting pages is not fun to do. It's not wise to do. But, I mean, I'm probably going to shut down the, the current website and then re and just re-upload this as the, the current website. So, I, I mean, I'm just giving a fresh redesign. But this right here, so hard. So, it's a hard reset. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's going to take a while for that to come into effect. So we're going to call this the index. If I click on it, you know, this is what we get. Let's go back into ooh, what happened now. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, bring up the layers. Bring up the body. And then from here, the footer. Okay, I can turn that off now. All right, let me bring this up. And then bring this down. Mm -hmm. uh, this has always been something that's crazy. <laughs> but if you pin this to the bottom, you pin this to the bottom. Um, when I start designing in the index, let's see what happens. I think, yeah, we have problems here. So I have to go back in to this right here. Make this the footer, right? And then index. So now when I start designing into the body, that flows downwards. All right, uh, so the next thing to do is to put in those images down here, the footer. First image that I'm gonna put in is the logo. So I'm gonna fill that in, add an image. Let me see something real quick. All right, we're gonna go into, uh, I'm gonna bring in that logo, so I need to bring in, I think I wanna use the classic Smiley Outfitter logo. I do have a white one. No, I wanna keep it consistent to what I have, so I'm gonna use the, oh, did I export it out? I didn't export it out, so. Uh, I'm actually just gonna have to bring in something real quick, which is gonna suck because I had branding specific for it but i never i didn't out did i no i didn't i didn't upload it so brew on me or maybe i put it over here like this no which is gonna look bad so i'm just gonna have to fix that out some other time and scale to fit and the only reason why this looks bad to me is because when I was designing this, I forgot to take the stroke out. I stroked it on accident, and I left the stroke into the uh, into that Japanese text down there, that Sue, um, which problematic just a little bit. 
So when I go to 2880 or something like that, this needs to be down at the bottom, by the way. It needs to stay there. down here <clears throat> all right um, and then I can just continue to scale these backwards just to make sure that this goes in the right spot because it's not <laughs> good thing I made those these master pages because what happens is as as I continue to design this out I mean, I'm only using one page technically. I'm just going to link everything from that one page to the Teespring, right? So as I continue to build this out, um, it can get it can get problematic. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing technically, and then I lost one. So where did that go? I just lost it. Yeah, it's right here. So we need to stick this right here and scale it up just a little bit so it fits. And that needs to stay at the bottom. And that's something that I didn't do. As you guys can see, very tedious work working in um, working on websites. I have to bring all this down. See what we got in the chat. Uh, somebody called Robert, which is Nita B. Nita was good. Um, Butterman Ratten said, "What's good, fam? What's up, fam? I'm good with your boy." Um, Chandra Anderson, <laughs> how you doing, Chandra? Chandra, Chandra. I never called you Sandra. I think I called you Sandra, not Chandra. But I'm gonna call you Angel because that's how I know you. You know, so what's good, Angel? And Butter said what's good to Sandra. Or Angel. <laughs> now I'm kind of confusing myself. And there's one more. Well, no, I think that's taken care of. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Man, this is not good for the back. So we have all of this together. That looks like it's flowing correctly. Looks like a good flow. All right. Now I have to go back up here to 28 to 28 and I need to type in men and women. I need to retype in the men and women. So um, it needs to be able to flow correctly. And the thing about fonts in Adobe Muse is that they're not they're not a constant flow. Like they're gonna stay at the the at the size they are. So this is a 48 point. Um, when I get to 960, they're really huge. And if I go down even further, you know, it's just getting more in the way. It doesn't look all that good. I mean, I might I can probably still flow them, but. It's gonna get so congested as you can see like it's just all in the way i mean i don't know we want to do minimal work as possible we want to do minimal work as possible right so i'm gonna bring this down like here to 780 or 788 and then i'm gonna click here resize it like this maybe drop the men down to like here 
and then drop women down here. And then we can resize this. Um, yeah, stretch it to browser width. We can stretch that to browser width starting right here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it over here as well. And then, therefore, when I start scaling this backwards, I know when things start breaking. So, I think about, if I go back to 788, I can bring down women like this. Put that right there. Of course, it's kind of off. So that looks good there, I think. And if I scale this down, we're having problems. So I'll just fix this out like this. Yep, that looks good. I think continue to like build this out like this. I think we had a break right here. Yeah, it happened like right here, so. I'll fix the women out again. I'll move this over here like this. I think maybe this logo is getting a little tight, so I'll just bring it out. About like right here. Move this logo over just a little bit. You know, like as it continues to go, like you start seeing how like the website is interacting with itself and you can adjust to it and all that. I think right here would probably be a good time for me to maybe um, change the font size. Yeah, change the, the, fi the font size. I think I can even start stacking them. Like, I want to do as minimal work as possible here because, and then I also got to go in and do a, uh, a phone version, you know? So, we can probably stack this. We can probably stack it women, then men. Women on top of men. I think that looks kind of bad. I'm probably not going to do that. Um we can move them into different directions so I can put women down here and men down this way. Nah, that's gonna cause conflict. See, this is the portion where drawing your elements out first would have been better. See, I didn't draw this, which is like what I'm saying, like you should draw it out. You should have a wet plan for, for when it starts condensing itself down, you know? Um, I think we could probably continue to scale this out this is getting more into like cell phone territory so we'll never really see it this small but at this point in time i can just let that condense down and get into the cell phone territory i think that's um as pot as far as possible i can go so we're going to bring that down to 320 3 330 Yeah, it's easier using coding. It's easier than coding, but it's not. And the reason why it's not is because you run into these little small issues, you know? Um, yeah, coding would be longer, but um, coding would be longer, but this would be, uh, this is a whole lot easier. But then coding gets easier as well like in some instance coding is easier i can't really do anything with this so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to break right here and then type in women and men again so um i'm using adobe muse it's in the description box you guys so check it out if you need it it's there for you if you don't want to code and you want to just you know do your own thing like, do it. You can do it. 
I started off with uh, Photoshop for the for you guys who are just coming in. I started off creating on Photoshop, and then I moved uh, all the elements. I exported it all out, and I brought it into uh, Adobe Muse, where now I'm building out the website so it can be functional. You know, this is a master page right here, um, and we're just pretty much ready to go. I'm just making sure that this master page sets up the the web page that I'm trying to design. Yep, I think that looks good about right there. Um, of course, I can drop this down. Drop this down right here. And then I can scale this up. Excuse me, I'm hungry too, by the way. Uh, let me go ahead and turn off this follow us on IG, but, or, yeah, let me go ahead and turn it off. I'm gonna copy it. Oh yeah, copy, <laughs> copying sucks here. Because it takes forever to load it. Right? Oh shoot, sorry. There is another website. I, I will give you guys the details to that soon, but. There's another website that you guys can use that will help you out with this stuff. I think this was smaller. And then also, I think this messed itself up too. Yeah, it did. Um, so I'm just gonna draw right here first. Don't draw inside of the, uh, the rectangle, draw outside of the rectangle. I've learned that that's a whole lot more, e well, not a whole lot easier, but a whole lot better to do is to draw outside the uh, the rectangle. Because if you draw inside the rectangle, it's going to take as an inside element, which technically it is. But um, then it resizes everything. So that looks good there. And then when I continue this on for the mobile version of this, which I can't continue it here because it's the website. But when I continue for mobile, I can just pretty much go from here with this uh, which I will but right now I have to go back and turn off everything that I just created so this all this small stuff gotta go and I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna uh, work in a second um, I just gotta fix this stuff out real quick But, oh, yeah, let me finish ask, uh, answering your question. Um, this is Adobe Muse. Adobe Muse, I feel like if you're just a Photoshop, if you're into Photoshop, into, like, Inst the Illustrator, GIMP, you know, we got somebody down here that, that likes to use GIMP. If you're into it, I feel like um, you will like this. This is a good program to use because um, all you have to do is design it out in Photoshop and then, like, integrate it into... Uh, news you know not hard to do at all does it the the real question is does it give you ugly code now not anymore once upon a time you got some real ugly code from this i'm not even gonna lie to you i'm gonna keep it real you know if there's anything i'm gonna do is i'm gonna keep it real um code was ugly <laughs> code was completely ugly so we're gonna preview this in the browser it should ask me to save first it might not yeah it's not asking me okay so we messed up somewhere i can't show you guys that yet um but i'm gonna turn off the rectangle no i'm not I'm gonna figure out what that was, what browser with this was, and we'll go from there. Inspect the source. I know this was 1440. So let's go to 1440. I feel like there's some some bugs going on with 1440 right now.
Let me try this again. All right. Yeah, that was a bug going on. All right, so I'm going to show you guys this real quick uh, by going into... Oh. No, it's not up. All right, so here's the browser. This is what it looked like in browser. Uh, let me just make sure that you guys can see. So, move it over just a little bit. Nope, that was a mess up. I don't even know what I moved. Uh, let me find this. It's this one right here, right? Golly. Uh, let me do this then. You guys can see what's up. All right, here's browser. Um, you can, what I did was whenever I move the browser in, like you guys can see how it scales, you know? You know, and of course I kind of gave up towards the end because then that goes into like cell phone territory, but this is what we really want here, right? Ah oh, man, you gotta go to work. I'm so sorry you gotta go to work, man. You know, I'll keep this up for you, though. This is real, real fun, easy stuff, and I want to show you guys this stuff as, as we go or continue on. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on these and then highlight. Oh no. I wanna. Alright, click on these two things. Um, let's go back into Adobe Muse real quick. And of course, you guys can't see that. <laughs> so I'm gonna zoom in. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna click on the men and the women, and I wanna bring up my type tool, and I wanna pretty much make this, make this rollover effect to be this blue down here. So we use the sights blue, so it's more of a natural blue. So whenever something gets rolled over, um, it turns it turns blue so let me show you guys what that looks like go back into the preview for this or maybe I never left the preview okay yeah we can bring up the preview did I leave the preview I don't know man <laughs> This stuff is starting to get uh, difficult. All right. Yeah. So I'm just making responsive, you know, making it really responsive. So whenever I like roll over, you know, men and women now, it turns blue and stuff like that. Like, and then when I click on it, whatever is active. Well, it's not even going to be active because when I click on men and women, I want that to go straight to like Teespring, you know? So I'm about to code this to go straight to Teespring. But um, yeah, men and women, you, you can roll over it and it just highlights the way that we want to highlight it, right? Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this back off or back on. And we go back into uh, Adobe Muse. Now I can just you know click on this, hyperlink that to the, the Teespring shop that I've created. I think this was for men oh, okay let me go back into teespring on my computer and we can do that i know this is taking a long time and i'm so sorry you guys but web design really does take a full day there's a uh, one website and it's in beta right now um you guys can't get it which sucks because i want to use it myself but it definitely it definitely hooks you guys up for those people who are wanting to do some like um quick web design type deals where you just all you have to do is make like a master and you're ready to go it definitely hooks you up 
Okay, so I just coded the, the men's side. I'm going to go ahead and code the women's side real quick. And it's not really coding. I'm sorry. I'm going to hyperlink. I'm going to hyperlink the men's side, and I'm going to hyperlink the women's side real quick. So whenever I click on these, it takes you to the Teespring, all right? Like, I don't want to design anything else. Like, this is all I want to do. And then I can just drop in everything else. And we can go from there. So I'm going to save this out. Oh, shoot. Save. So this first time saving, only you guys. Make sure you file save because only you guys can prevent lost save data. All right. We're going to preview this in the browser. Um, and I'm going to switch this back over to my browser so I can show you guys what's happening. All right. So here we are. Um, men. Women, if I click on the men, goes to the Teespring store, which it shouldn't go to the Smiley Outfitter store, so I faulted on that one. Uh, let's see, the women, this one goes straight to the women, and that's good to go too. So let me just go back into this, hit backwards, uh, click on view store, yeah, I messed up. I just need to take the hyperlink, come back into Adobe Muse. I'm going to switch back over to Adobe Muse so you guys can see. Um, click on the men. X that. It's really simple to, to edit out to, by the way. Save. And then preview this in the browser. Hopefully this time it you know has good behavior. Nothing, Nothing's wrong here. So when I click on men now, it goes to the Smiley Outfitters men store that I've created in Teesprings. So we're physically just leaving the store. We're leaving the website, and but technically when they hit backwards, if they want to hit backwards, it brings them back to the website. This is acting as a landing page. That's the word that I was trying to you know bring to you guys earlier, landing page. Everything that we're doing right here is just a landing page. Uh, it's not really a web. It is a website. It is more like a web page. And everything on this website is advertisement for, a, a, you know, a specific, excuse me, a designers like hot top or hot pick. You know what I'm saying? And then when they click on something, they're leaving the store, but they're actually... You know going to the actual store they're not really staying on the actual store but they're going to the real store and that's a good thing for you know anybody who's trying to um you know work within smiley or not smiley will work within like teesprings like this just took me to the teespring store or instagram which you know 111 followers and this is the content that i'm putting up you know here go one of the things i was telling you guys about um be a little bit more personable you know have more of that personal relationship on uh your instagram now mind you the realistic number is a tenth of your following will like like it and a tenth of that tenth will respond to it you know that's realistic but it doesn't have to be that way either um and yeah i think this is good deals right here i'm loving the way that it looks right now how do you guys feel about the website from just the master page let me know in the comment section let's continue to go oh man it's nine o'clock what time is it out there in y'all's areas let me know what time it is too because here it is nine o'clock i started at seven or six thirty six forty five seven and here it is almost nine o'clock okay so Yeah, yeah, it's hyperlinked, all right? Like, we don't have to, um, you know, mess around with it too much. But when we get into, like, this here, oh, as a matter of fact, I can just crunch these down. Now that we're, oh, wait, I didn't even show you. I got to go back. 
I gotta show you guys what I'm doing. I'm sorry about that. So here we are. Um, I went to the index page. I went to the index page, and now we're here. Um, I'm just gonna click on some of these links to open up the masters. And then create a breakpoint for it. So once you create a breakpoint, um, it's just gonna link from the masters, right? Eighteen eighty. You know, so I didn't get that eighteen eighty. Or did I? Oh wait, no, that wasn't even 1880. What? But yeah, so once you get back, all you have to do is click on the top portion. I know you guys can't see it because, um, let me see. Maybe I can move it down slightly. So the top portion, as you can see, I'm just clicking on like these um these breakpoints that I've created, and you know I can just design from there. And of course, when we get down here to the very last of this, it's going to flip to another font with well, another font size, which will be what we were working on. All right. So here's a trick. All right. We have to make our elements fit everything. Now, I've created for the very big so I can scale it down to be very little. But if I was to just work on it like that, um, it's not going to do what I need it to do. So what they have here is at this line, at the very top of this, is just pretty much the breakpoint for fluid. This right here will allow me to expand or de-expand the, the, the browser. So whatever I put in here will work. Like it will scale itself down in proportion. You know what I mean? Assuming I put the, uh, I stretch everything to browser width. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to bring in those elements that I've exported out earlier, which would be um, pretty much just making a, what is this, a, uh, a rectangle, a rectangle frame, and just dropping that in. So I'm just going to make a rectangle frame like this. Um, of course, <clears throat> I need to size it out. Make sure that it <clears throat> make sure that it stretches to the browser width, and then I can fill this in with the image that I've created on Photoshop. And it's nine o'clock there too, so it's one. It's ten p.m. in Atlanta, which wow, <laughs> it's six fifty-seven in Cali. Which is dope, you know. I wish I was living in Cali because I know it's like amazing out there. All right, uh, we're gonna put this in the middle. We're gonna scale to uh, actually, we want to scale to fill. Where is it? Scale to fit. I think this one is a scale to fit instead of a scale to fill. Up oh, and there's a fault already. <laughs> um, and the fault that I'm having, the problem that I'm having right now, is that actually this is a scale to fit. Um, the problem that I'm having is that I left in the shop, the shop men and shop women, women, which is not what we wanted to do. So I have to fix that out. But as you guys can see, when I drop this in, it pretty much, you know, looks like the web plan that I created. So when I scale this back some, if I go to this size, just fluidly going, you know, alongside with each and every browser width that I've created, except for this one. So I need to bring this one down. Which means we're probably gonna have problems here. Uh, 
problem here as well. The good thing is because I made that fault where I, I messed up um, with the text at the bottom of the picture, which I didn't want to keep the uh, the shop men and shop women down there. The good thing is um, when I fix these in size, you know what I'm saying? When I fix this out, um, because I'm fixing the size of this, I won't have to worry about, you know, it going back up at the top like it did. So it'll fix itself out when I delete it. But before I go further, I just want to go ahead and preview this in the browser so you guys can see what's going on. Dang, it's hot in, it's hot in Cali. Man, it's cold out here. Well, it's not cold, cold. But um, it's definitely, definitely getting up there. I don't know where that block came, you guys. I'm so sorry if you guys are seeing it. But it came from somewhere. Alright, so... This is what we came up with. This is what I came up with today. So, of course, we have the, the men, the women, the smile out, the guy that's me, you know, the girl, which I need to redraw. I'm just, you know, keeping her right now. And this is a shut up and smile. So when people want to click on shop men, shop women, I'm a code or well, I'm a hyperlink that to go to, you know, um, the others, the, the Teesprings. And then I'll drop in pictures and then more pictures and more pictures. And that's just how you guys do it. And then, of course, if I, you know, start scaling this in and stuff like that, you know, it's keeping its, its good look. Um, except for right there, which means there's just something I just need to fix out down here, which probably would be this smiley outfit is down there. <clears throat> but it looks good. It looks good. It's flowing good. I just think everything. I just think everything is going really nice. But let's go ahead and get back into this. Uh, so let's bring this up again. Go back into Adobe Muse. I'm going to actually go back into the, uh, what do you call it? The, the master page. Getting sleepy, y'all. <laughs> I need to turn off this pin. That's one. And then I need to come down here to the very last of this. And zoom it in. And I need to make sure that these two one become blue whenever it gets rolled over because I didn't do that and then I need to uh, hyperlink these as well so the first one will be the the men side it all saves itself out so I'll click men there the second one is the women I'll click that in there like that. <clears throat> and then hit Command S to save it out. Oh, man. My back is killing me. Hashtag brother needs a new chair. Brother needs a new chair. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It makes that little creak sound. It means that it's, that it's done. <laughs> this chair is done. Uh, let's go back into the index, though. And I need to actually go back into Photoshop. So let me bring back up Photoshop. Oh, man. I need to take a break. What are some questions that you guys might have right now? Let me go ahead and bring up my iPad and lean back just a little bit. Brother needs a new chair. <laughs> what are some things you guys got going on the iPad or in the comment section? So I can talk to some of you guys real quick. Let me just oop, move this up some. Uh, there's no relaxing on live, I guess. No relaxing on live. But what's up? Oh, what it do? Thank you, Nita, for uh for clapping these three times. I I think you guys, I think you like it, right? Is it looking cool? Is it at least starting to feel a little cool? You know. 
um, you guys, so that's something worth talking about, worth talking about, which is the uh, the Shut Up and Smile uh, posters that I've created. I, I'm not selling, well, I will sell those as a poster sometime soon. But um, I've actually made a mock-up template for that. That was like $1.99. Um, that's something that you guys can get. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you. It, I, you know, I try to put in some like good tutorials for you guys and stuff like that. I know that this one is kind of more of like a glaze over. I'm so sorry, but um, you guys like I, I like to tell you guys like design it out first, or no, draw it out first. Um, bring in your design. Now, web design has the the extra step of you design it. And then you take it to like a web designer or a programmer and he puts it together but in this instance here i want you guys to uh get into like you know designing it and taking it to adobe muse or taking it to um, wix we can do the same thing on wix it's just i don't really like wix you know i, I think the website breaks down a lot i mean mate provided that i started using wix back in like 2013 and I'm pretty sure it, it has, you know, evolved long since then. Um, I think you guys would uh, would appreciate this more, Adobe Muse a little bit more. So let me pull up Photoshop real quick so you guys can see what's going on there. So here's the web plan that we were uh, developing. In Photoshop, right? Oh man, back is killing me, and I'm not even that old yet. You hear me? Um, so I'm gonna try to finish this out today, but let me. I think Photoshop has moved over a little bit too much. I'm gonna try to finish this one out for you guys. Or finish out this web page, but I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. I need some food. <laughs> I'm starving. Some fish out there. And I can smell the fish and I love fish. You heard me. Um but no, I need to continuously work on this. Did I pull up the Photoshop? I think this is the Photoshop. Yeah it is. Getting the swaggy Japanese vibe, yeah, and, and you know, that's the that's what I'm saying. Consistency on the look and feel. Once you define a look and feel, I mean, then you can just continuously grow from there with that. Like you can just continuously build out from um, whatever you define as your look and feel, and that's ba and that's based off your audience. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm really going off. The some of the some of the people here like the pictures of the two girls that i have and the boy that one guy down there they might not be into like anime and manga you know what i'm saying they might not be into that but <clears throat> once you like you know put it out there to people that that might be into it like oh well i can be as cool as him or i can be as pretty as her you're not saying that they're not pretty people or anything like that but you know give them a little hint of what they could be um and you know kind of like define it you know let that go so having a strong target target audience um having a good you know uh narrative narrative design this is more like a narrative design like is based off of two characters the first character is me i'm not going to say that though the first character is brandon we'll call his name brandon um and brandon is a laid back um cool like millennial uh into like manga into like video games stuff like that he's pretty humble he's pretty you know swagged up or whatnot he stays shape he stays in good shape um things that he like he might like dragon ball super he might like um uh, one piece um he he likes other things like manga um he uh he probably watched like love and hip hop you know so that's the reason why he has like dreads you know just it, he likes music he likes rap you know he's, he's me technically you know um one thing that i was looking at was i was looking at um devil devil man if anybody have watched devil man yet um devil man is one where uh fudo uh akita fudo 
people would call him Akira, but Akira Fudo, he was uh he was into track, but he was a nerd. All right, and the guy that I designed at the very top of this is you know based off of his design is based off of Akira Fudo. You know what I'm saying? And the girl, her name is Anaya. You know, she's more of like trying to find her way in life. She's she's really cool. She's really active. She had a boyfriend. Maybe her her relationship with that boyfriend went south. So every like design that I create for women outside of that panda design, because who doesn't like pandas? Every design that I create for women is more of like a statement. And in every man, every design that I create for men is more like a design so you have a lot of text-based designs for women um well it's not really a lot of text-based design but it's more like um a lot of strong like in your face designs for women you know what i'm saying it's a lot of message like stuff but then you have men who are more for like the art more for like the the design the actual look and feel of it so once you define that and then you just keep building on and giving the story, give them just, the, you know, give them like a background, a narrative, and you just continue to go from there. I learned that from Full Sail. That actually helped me out. Mm, Anaya is your son, is your daughter's name? That's cool. Or it, it, is Akira your son, your, your daughter's name? I'm sorry. Daughter. Daughter. I'm sleepy and I'm hungry. I'm sorry. Is Akira your, your daughter's name or is um, Anaya your daughter's name? Let's see. Do you know a way to get good quality patches with like movie scene photos? I can find patches and such, but I want to have like a patch of like, let's say a screen scene. Um, are you drawing it? Is this is this a drawing patch or is this like um, a patch that you're just you know want to take off the internet and just put together? There's a, a lot of things that come with patches, by the way. Patches cost by like colors, you know what I'm saying? Patches, patches and like t-shirts are, or screen printing are like one in the same. They cost by color. And a lot of time people who are, um, you know, doing the patchwork, they're charging you guys by color. So that's something to think about whenever you do that. So if you're going to do a, a, a movie reference scene or whatnot, and you're just taking the pictures or whatnot, just make sure that, well, for starters, Make sure you have the rights to do it so if you're going to sell it you know you can do it off of the rights but the second thing is um make sure the colors are like you know if you're going to have it in black and white um what is it black and white half tones or you're going to have issues with it somewhere you're going to have some type of issues where it's going to be a whole lot of money and i don't want you to spend that much money on it Oh, my neck and my back. You hear me. Um, so let me go ahead and get back into this because I can't continue to sit. We got to get this done. I got to eat. I'm hungry. So let's go ahead and scale this up. Um, and we'll start right here with the, the shut up and smile. And I'll just make sure that I get everything that I need out of it without getting the, um, without getting that text because that text kind of messed me up. So right here at the top, was it? Excuse me. Oh no, it's the fold. And yeah. Was that it? Yeah, so it's this right here. Um, export. All right, uh, going to the, the plan. One, export that out, and it's ready to go. So I'll take out the image, and I'll drop it in. I'll redrop it like this. And there we go. And that should carry over, hopefully. Yeah, it did. And now I can just start like adding the buttons and stuff like that because that's really simple to do. Oh wait, you guys can't see it because 
Yeah. All right. So there we go. It's building itself out. It's looking really good, actually. I'm really, uh, really happy about how this is coming along. About how this is coming along. So let's go ahead and bring up some assets. That not the assets. The library. CC library. I don't think that's it. Oh my god, I forgot. Uh, she's on the other side. It's not characters. It's not assets. I know it's not CC libraries, is it? No, it's widgets. <laughs> Duh, it's widgets. Now, there's a few things. Before I get to the buttons that I'm supposed to create, which I will be creating, there's a few things that I think would be um you know that i need to do the first thing is first i want to make sure that i'm at the very long side of this because you know i want this to work out i need to put in some well the button that i need to put in is a state button all right and the state button is going to what it's going to do is it's going to act as like a field that makes everything clickable so <clears throat> these two shirts these two um hoodies are actual hoodies that you know live with inside of the the website the, the the smiley outfitters brand okay so these aren't just there just to be you know glimpses and stuff like that those were intentional so i'm gonna grab the stay button and i'm just gonna drop one like here and there so i'm gonna put one right there and i'm gonna put one on the actual shirt on these shirts here and I'm gonna give it some axes so or axes whatever you want to call it I'm just gonna make sure that this one at least covers I'm sorry why are you even speaking I hate when that happens but just make sure that this actually covers and I'm gonna take out the uh, the text of it and then we're gonna Turn off the fill because that doesn't need to be there. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. So that's off, right? And I want to link these, like both of them, to the actual shirt that it's going to. Because not, like I told you guys before, like I say this on like all of my website reviews and stuff like that. If you're going to have it, if you're going to show it in the... Uh, if you're going to show it in the uh, the website or in any picture and stuff like that, no matter if this is just a drawing, all right, make sure that it's actually inside of your shop, you know? And somebody might come to the um, to the website and be like, man, this, this drawing is speaking to me, you know? I want that hoodie. I want that hoodie, you know? And the moment that they feel that way, there should be a, a spot for them to actually go and get it. You're missing out on money if that's not happening. So... I'm going to go into the Smiley Outfitters, uh, both of them, and pick out pick out the hoodie for them, all right? And then with that, come back in, hyperlink those to where they need to go, and then we're good to do. Like, we can do what we need to do with that. Yeah, smiley outfitters men just make sure that we're getting uh, see that was the men's side and I think I messed that up no I didn't make sure you guys are getting the right links too that's one thing that I usually always have a problem with is I'm not always getting like the right links and I hate when that happens It's okay though. It's okay. I think I I understand what happened. But that's that's okay. They came from two different storefronts, but that'll be all right. So, when I go to preview 
and it doesn't have to like show that it's it's you know there's a 3d effect or anything like that like i really don't want to see the 3d effect if it happens but what's going to happen is when we roll over it um if it wants to work maybe that's not happening right now let me i guess if i let me do it in the uh in the browser so you guys can see because it works better in the browser i should be testing in the browser Uh, let me see here. Turn this on. Yeah. All right. So we're in the browser, right? Go into index. And it's not working. Where are you at? Oh, that's because it's still the old one that didn't come up yet. Here's the new index. So on the new index. If it's going to work, I'm going to have to save this because I don't want this to crash on me. I feel like that's what's about to happen now. Um, okay, so I'm going to close this one down. And I'm going to upload browser. All right. Uh, I'm trying to like do this, but the, uh, my, um, my Chrome is messing up and that usually happens to me. <laughs> That's just my luck. You know, just my luck. Like it doesn't work. All right. Okay. It's starting to do what it has to do. But as you can see, like when I hover over a certain spot, and the only reason why it's messing up like this is because, I don't know, it's, it's a fault somewhere. But I can always fix it. It's not a problem. You know what I mean? So let's just come back over here into uh, Muse and just kind of manipulate this out. So there's the 20, the, the what is it? 2880. The 2604, 2317. It's just, I just have to move these into place. You know? Because as we were seeing that it was kind of like the state button was kind of like all the way down here. You know, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys can even see it because OBS, you know? <laughs> and if there's, if you guys are a streamer, if you guys are a streamer and you guys use, you know, different softwares, I'm looking for a different one. Like, I don't think OBS is working out for me, you know? Like, there's there's things on the screen that I want to show you guys, and this stuff is just, like, trash, you know? Like, I can't see anything. Because I'm looking at the stream. I'm actually, I got the stream up on my iPad. But I just, you know... The lessons here are getting kind of misconstrued. I'm going to have to, like, record this, you know, and show you guys, which is not a problem because I like to show you guys different things, but the stream is just, phew, man. All right. Um, I think right here is the last one for this one at least. I got one more actually right here so like I said people go they can click on the shirt and it actually takes them to the shirt that they're looking at like I want that shirt you know and that's a good trope to have because people that, that's a lot of stuff that I've missed out I've like I've been wanting to find um what is it what was a good example of uh, the 13th floor they had like a, a really dope shirt that I bought one time and I didn't, I couldn't find anymore because uh, I left it somewhere. And I, yeah, I, I think I left it somewhere, you know. And it's on their website, it's in their pictures, but it's not in the store. So update your website, you know. So I'm not like getting kicked, like that's almost like a kick in the nuts. Like I really want that shirt, but so sad, you know. 
too bad, so sad. Like, you're not going to get it. So we'll move that right here like this. Okay. King Creator says, looking good. Thank you. Uh, Ashley Morales, she says her daughter name is Anaya. Anaya might like this clothing line because, hey, her name is in it. I think that state button is a little too big. Um, starting to get down to the wire on this last one. <laughs> One more. I think that was the last one, actually. Okay. Yeah, how do I work so small? I don't know. It's hard. <laughs> All right. We're having a uh, pixelation, too. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Man, this back problem. Okay, so we got that out the way. So now let me see if I save this. I go uh, file, preview and browser. I pull up the browser so you guys can see it because you guys definitely want to see it. Oops, wrong one. Whenever it decides to come up. So wait i gotta wait for it actually and it just came up all right now when i scroll over is it not doing it yeah as you can see there's a rollover effect for both of these but uh, i can fix this out i don't like how it's turning black you know so we gotta fix that out but when you click on that field it takes you to the actual hoodie and there you go right how amazing is that right let's uh, bring back up that that window and we'll fix this stuff out because that's the last thing we want is a problem like that So uh, first, let's go. We're actually going to take both of these, and we're going to go into rollover effects, and we're going to turn off the fill. <clears throat> yeah. All right. And I'll save, and that's good. <clears throat> Next thing we got to do is we got to put in the actual buttons. So I'll put those buttons in down here. So here's the state button right here. We can put that. And actually, let me delete that. I'm going to go backwards. Go back to 28, 2880. And then we'll put those down here. The good thing about state buttons is that they are fluid um, the only problem the only problem is that the text isn't fluid so whenever <laughs> I decide to start like shrinking these down we gotta worry about that but I'll just you know type in what was it shop women or shop men all right Put that in bold. Put that in 60. It didn't work. Okay. So we'll put that in 60. And then we'll put that in Futura Bold. I think I had a color code for this. So I have to bring up that picture again. So I can color code it. Mm. Oh, man. But it has to be that blue. It 
it has to be that blue for consistency that is uh, so let me pull up that picture again I'm gonna save this because only you can prevent lost save data you know what I mean um, and then let's go back into the layers panel and I'll just create like a layer real quick and I'll just drop in in this layer I'll just drop in like the plan so I can get these colors right so that's the last thing I want is the colors to be wrong okay so I put in a small version of the plan and let me just move that over like this over here uh, go to the state button and then take the fill yep okay that looks good so let me draw out another one or I can just hold down alter option and make a copy of another one like right here which is not always the best thing to do especially not in uh Especially not in here. Like, that'll mess you up. I think we'll make that a, a good 48. Make this a good 48. And we'll name this, rename this one Women. Mm hmm. I'll delete this too. And let's just see what happens when I start scaling these backwards. Yeah. See the box, the the actual frame for the the stay button itself is is fluid, but the the women where it says like shop women or shop men, that's not. So as I start scaling these backwards, I'm gonna have to one move these into spot because I have to, and then two I need to manipulate the button. So it works. But because I'm making like a web page, because it's just like a page, it's not really, um, it's not like, what am I trying to say? It's not like a full out website or anything like that. It's just a web, it's like a page, and like a nice little page. Um, I can scale these back and I can, you know, use these over and over and stuff like that. So it's not going to look bad. As long as I keep them in proportion and the right proportions that I set, which would be like between this S and this Z, which I drew out. I drew this out, actually, you know, as long as I keep those in where they're supposed to be at, then it'll be okay. going <sighs> man how's everything looking to you guys everything still cool or you know you guys let me know what's up So you're starting to like getting crunch time down here. So I have to start really manipulating this and getting it to a place where it looks good. And it seems to like every time, every time we move to like another browser width, it goes further and further down, you know? <laughs> Mm. 
And I see this is where this is where I can no longer manipulate it, so I have to actually create some more stay buttons. Oh, man, but I gotta take a break because this stuff is no joke, man. This chair and you know, just leaning over, <laughs> gonna have a bad back soon. Oh shoot! But hi everybody. Let me see. I, let me. I'm gonna go through you guys' Instagrams real quick. Actually, I think I want to take the time to go through some of you guys' Instagrams. So let me see what you guys got. I think somebody left their Instagram up here. I think. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna go up here to the top, and we're gonna start doing some Instagram searching. So the first one that came up was I know I saw some earlier. Urban dot punks. So we'll type in that. Give him a good shout out real quick. Shout out to Urban Punks. There's only three of them. Hold on, let me just see. Who am I logged in? I do. Actually, let me go ahead and go back. I want to log out of here. How do I log out on the computer? Oh, shoot. First, do this so you guys can see. Okay, so we're shouting out Urban Punks. This is a Urban Style Punk Edge Tyler and Kids Urban Clothing Line. That seems pretty cool. Pretty legit. It's a, a bunch of kids. Oh, there's only three pictures. So you have three pictures, three kids. Uh, let's click on one of these. <laughs> Excuse me, my stomach is rumbling. Um, yeah. So he got, you know, a picture of a kid wearing a shirt that says "Bite Me" hashtag Bite Me, which is, you know, funny. <laughs> and then on top of that, the kid is holding two donuts. Legend. I like it. You know, I've been seeing a lot of this design right here of, um, what is it? Two hands coming together from different sides. I might do that one time, you know, for a, a series that I'm creating for you guys for every Saturday. Um, might You might, might want to look out for it because it's coming. But I choose you. I think that's pretty cool, pretty, pretty dope. I like the way that looks. And then you got this one right here, which is saying Scream Sickle. Um, I think I've seen something like this before. It's a really cool design, though. I don't really like how you got this going, man. So, shout out to Urban Punks. You got a really cool design. A really cool layout for, uh, not layout, but really cool, like, uh, shops and pictures that you got going on. I know, I see that you're saying it's launching soon, so um, good luck to you on that one. Let me see. The next one that we're looking at is the art of TJ3. Okay, so this is Tilden Jones the third, uh, and it doesn't look like he has anything out. Shame on you, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh no, that's Twitter. Sorry, you don't have anything out here. So we'll just go to somebody else. Dollars. And dollars. Or did I spell that wrong? Dollars. And dollars. Okay, yeah, I spelled it wrong. Alright, so we're looking at dollars and dollars. Not dollars and do dollars, but dollars and dollars. <laughs> Get it? And right away, super cool, uh, like, logo real here, like, right here. You got the, the S and S, which is dollars and dollars. It could be different, but I think that really works out. It makes kind of like a face, too, by the way, if you guys haven't seen. He has a, or this person has a, um, is it a he? Let me just make sure. This person has a saved story, which is this. Yeah, this is something that I've. I think you guys can do replicate. I've done this before on my channel, so that's pretty dope. 
man, keep putting more of this stuff out. Like, that looks really good. I'm just like this one. Um, has some really cool, like, imagery here. This is a, a cup pouring into, like, I think another cup's mouth. Super dope. Then you have the design. So, I've actually created a tutorial that is not going to come out until, like, next week, Monday. Um, as you guys seen, I'm starting to put, like, more Instagram stuff out. But there's one thing that I want to talk about is... The one thing I want to talk about is you guys making designs another post and the t-shirt one post like this is a one post and the next post is like the design um, there's something about that that can be there's something to be said about that basically um, I have a, a tutorial that's coming out on that so definitely check that out and you have pain cha changes people pain changes people I like some of this stuff um, whenever I get the chance I'm definitely gonna go ahead and buy the uh, the F life money, you know what I'm saying? The the middle finger life money, you know what I'm saying? I think that's pretty cool. I'll definitely be buying that one soon. I'm definitely going to buy some a lot of you guys' stuff because you guys come here a lot and I think that there's some cool things that you guys come across or I come across with you guys. Um Brooklyn is next. underscore B so Brooklyn creates that's her name and it looks like she's an artist page which is really cool you know I think this is really cool so she has a right away dude from rocket power and Susie Carmichael Dayton I can see that happening but then again you know you have this picture here these two pictures it's like, you know, <laughs> it's just a lot I just said, like, you guys showing the process, which is not a problem, but if you guys put that into one post and let people see the process like that, that's a, that's a better, you got a better chance of getting more likes. Um, I love how creative your daughter is. Yeah. Let's see, do you sell anywhere? Do you have a store? You don't have a store anywhere, so... It's just you drawing for fun, which, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, I like this faith. I think this would be a really cool t-shirt. Or however you color it, by the way. Let me see this. that's it but that looks pretty good oh wait no she's doing some shading it still looks good I, I don't have time to sit back and watch all of it but this looks really nice oh man this is a really good picture Ray J yeah you're you're really talented I like what you got going on here so if you guys need a t-shirt design Brooklyn is a good one. She's a really if you guys need an illustration Brooklyn is really good matter of fact I think she's good Just looking at this faith one too like this faith shirt or this faith design well, She's really good with typography too. So if you guys need some custom fonts or custom like, you know font like thing shout out to her She's really good at it Let's see Um and I think that's it. Nobody else has posted anything in here. So shout out to those three uh those three guys or those three people, the subscribers that that put their stuff in here. We're gonna continue to go now because I need to really knock this stuff out. Uh so we're just gonna bring this back up. Now, like I said, at this point in time we have to drop in some more state buttons. So I'm going to uh, turn these off 
and then bring in the widgets for another stay button. We gotta make these. We don't have to make these that sm that much smaller, but we do have to be able to like move these around so it fits inside of the website because that can be a problem. We don't want that going too far off to the edge. So about like right here. And then if I bring in, I need to bring back those, uh, that layer that I took out. Or maybe I deleted it because that happens too. Just, just gotta make sure that they're white or not white, but blue. And then shop men. Make sure that this is, um, what is that? Futura Bold. And then put in shop women over here. All right, and then basically from here on out, I just gotta turn off the two and then bring these two down. Oh man, you know what you guys, I'm starting to get sleepy and it's, it's gone from seven to like 10 o'clock now. It's almost 10 o'clock over here. So I'm probably gonna like in the next few minutes, go ahead and get up off of this. It's, oh man, Philip Naji, you came in like right when I was like, um, I'm getting ready to close down. Ah uh, man, not as much man, just trying to, just trying to create a website for you guys so you guys can, or not for you guys, but so you guys can see the process of what it takes to, to make a website for basically a Teespring, all right? Now, I know, that, and that's something that's not conventional. Like, they don't see, you don't see too many, like, Teespring websites out here, you know, but I think that's kind of a missed opportunity for people to have a Teespring and, you know, just linking your website to it or not not your website but like just putting links to the teespring is gonna hurt you you know so if you create like a landing page which is what i was trying to say earlier in the video but i forgot the name of it but if you create like a landing page um, where people can go and just look at some powerful imagery before they go to like the teespring you're gonna sell a whole lot more, I feel like. And that's that's not even just a feeling, that's just true. Because the more people can see um, powerful imagery, the more they're on board with it, so. <laughs> that's just what we're working on today. A lot of people say, oh, I can't get engagement from my website. I don't understand why. Well, one of the reasons why is because there's not a lot of powerful imagery on there. You know, we want to make sure that everything that you create looks good. I think here at this point, I can probably stack these actually. I can stack them and then like, do something like this. Uh, let's go back one. Yeah, probably, I'm not gonna stack that one, but I'll definitely turn off these stay buttons because I forgot about that.
there's something else that I need to talk about. Um, and I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that this is kind of like late game in the video, but have you guys noticed how I'm only using like just a few colors? Like I'm using pink and blue. And the reason why I'm using pink and blue is because like those are consistent colors. This is those are colors that women and men like grasp onto. Is it all goes back to knowing your audience, all right? That soft pink, that soft blue. Like dudes even like that soft pink. You know, I like that soft pink. It looks really good. I think that's a really nice, you know, color. But millennials really like that color. A lot of women like pink. A lot of women like blue too, you know, but when you have those identifiable colors on like your website, that's just brand management, man. Like everything just looks good that way. And then it's a consistent color, too, because each time I'm using it is coming from, you know, a part of that picture that we're that we're working with. OK, so I need to go back through, make sure I turn off those first two state buttons that I've created. Okay, now I have to turn off the second two ones that I've created as this gets bigger. All right. And then, of course, I'm having some problems right here per usual. Okay. Oh, man. And you know what, you guys? <clears throat> I think for right now, I'm going to go ahead and cause it quits because my back hurt. I'm tired. I'm hungry. And I can't overwork myself today on this one. Like, I really can't. <laughs> so this was really fun i'm probably gonna do another part of this like i'm probably gonna um do a part two to this probably tomorrow yo <laughs> i think tomorrow will probably be the best time to do it i'm just like i said i'm tired and hungry and i really appreciate you guys coming out like i hope i taught you guys something or at least shown you guys the easier way of creating like a nice website a nice little web page that you guys can use for teespring um of course like i said this is just you know a web page it is a nice website that you guys can build on like i said earlier um there's going to be a cover page for this i haven't gotten to the cover page design you know but this will be live this will be live hopefully by monday of next week so if you guys want to go buy something from it um actually if you want to just buy something from the website already you can go down <clears throat> you can go down into the description where it says get the new merch um, the new merch is just everything on Teespring, so um, you can click on that. They'll take you to Teespring, and it's up already for you guys to go. But, you guys, with that being said, I am so hungry. I'm so tired. It's time for me to go. So, I um, hope you guys learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. But, with that being said, you guys, I have to get up out of here. So, stay amazing. Stay creative. But, above all else... Stay awesome.